Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video of Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross of Light and Darkness. Now, we do have the Unravel track currently going on in the background, which is quite nice. Um, this was made by someone to the Discord by the name of uh, Taco Joe. If you haven't checked it out so far, I'd suggest it because this is a really interesting mechanic. I want to keep on talking about it because it's coming to Global soon. People that are actually talented around like creating music and stuff like that are going to love this. You can make like your own tracks inside the game. But for today, what I want to go ahead and do is we're going to be doing our first video over here on the game of a new PvP series. So every Tuesday we'll be doing a PvP series with like a new team I want to try out. Uh, and just kind of experimenting and seeing what ends up working. But for today, I have my usual team. So, I have one main team inside this game. And this is the team I run in most scenarios. I run it inside the red versions of some of my red raids. Like Red Demon I use this one on. I uh, use it on uh, Crimsons, I use it on stuff like that. So, it's the thing that I reliably go to for most of my actual content. Also, not this one. We want to go to Taizu, our buddy old pal over here. Um, but we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to run our team of Coin Escanor in the front row. Uh, Arthur, SSR, the red one, has the buff. The Gauther, of which is here for a star up. And Gil Thunder in the back because he's a passive that allows you to get extra stats inside PvP. Um, which helps a lot with trying to get some extra work done. So that's kind of our main goal for right now. We'll be going into this and doing uh, defense food for all these different matches. And it should be a really good time. Um, in regards to what the current plan is for today, I wanted to start a new series where like once every week or so I can show off a new team. We'll spend like between 40 minutes to an hour just kind of trying it out and seeing how it goes. Uh, but naturally, most of these characters aren't out on global just yet. And like... Today we had a new banner data mined, um, today is Monday, but you're seeing this on Tuesday, uh, of a Galland and Gauther banner over on Global. So Gauther might be coming up soon, but the uh, Red Arthur, I find, alongside this Escanor, because, because they make such a good duo, because Escanor loves to have multiple buffs, and Arthur gives like four different kinds of buffs, they're a really good pair. They're re they work really well together. Additionally, we're fighting a Blue Melee, Blue King, and a Gauther team. Not super fun. Um, the, here's the issue I run into when we're doing this for right now. So I'm looking at this at the moment. We're going to need to uh, get the three-star version of Arthur off, but I feel like our winning conditions can be setting up early because there's two different states of how we end up fighting this. There's the state where our main goal is to instantly try and get the, the Arthur buff off and try and go for damage immediately. And there's the style where we try and go for a three-star Arthur instead to try and get the anti-debuffs. Because you can't get petrified when you have a three-star Arthur on you. So for now, what I am going to do, I'm going to do that. I feel like... Honestly? I'm going to do that. Hey there! If you don't do something right now, your king is dead. <laughs> I will look you right in the eye and say that. You need to petrify again this turn on my Escanor, or you lose. And guess what? You definitely get the loss. I... So do I want to kill Gauther to reduce his capabilities, or do I want to instead go for king? I think I'm just going to go for the Arthur buff here do this, I'm just going to one-shot the king. So, my coin Escanor is at 5 out of 6 so far. So his ultimate is all the way up and almost maxed out. Um, next week, I think it resets in two days. I should be able to buy my last copy of him. It'll be crazy. But he still one-shots basically anyone use it on. Use it on a blue and it does still 117k. It's kind of ridiculous sometimes. Um, but I'm about to get hit by a Gauther ultimate, I just realized. Not super good, honestly. Might have been a good call for going for him, but I didn't really have much of an answer anyway to it, so... I feel like making sure I guarantee the kill on the Blue King is more worth it for now. 
All right, so we lost our Gouther here. Gale Thunder is going to swap in here. Um, So I can use my cards for right now, it looks like. I think I'm actually just going to try and go for this for now. Um, I'm going to uppercut here and also focus on the Gouther with this. Oh, what? It said that it was going to be broken. What? I mean, I didn't actually have a reason why it would not be uh, chained up anymore. But I just kind of trusted it, I guess. I trusted the UI and I probably shouldn't have, but... I actually haven't run into that issue very often before. Maybe you might lose this first one, honestly. I think... As I continue to use this team, I think the win condition becomes more so getting rid of the Gouther. Because even in this match, I'm realizing my main problem so far has been trying to deal with Gouther's uh, attack seal. I think I lose Ga uh, Escanor this turn, though. That's kind of unfortunate. Um, bye, Escanor. I appreciated, I appreciated you like being around and doing stuff, but that's a GG. Oh, all right. Yeah, no, I think that going forward, no matter what team I face, I don't think that Blue King's the answer. I think that taking down the uh, Red Gouther would have been the call. Just make sure he doesn't have the attack seal. It actually works really well against this team. So here. We're going to go into this again. I'm actually going to set it to auto-eat the defense food for now. Oh, I got demoted. Oh, I'm hoping to actually be able to get up a couple more leagues uh, over the next little while. Because I really do want to work on that. But here, I'll do this. Go into this. And likely what we're going to do from here on out is I'm just going to edit between the different matches. So I don't have to have like me loading out and loading back into each one of these. But should be a good time. Oh, man. Ugh. The issue with PvP is the benchmarks for upgrading your tier is at the end of every single one of the classes. So you gotta play like all your PvPs every day to get from this league up to the next one. So I just haven't been doing that recently. I gotta get to it. Okay, so we're fighting a Blilia, Green Esterosa, and Gouther team. Uh, We might actually just have this one, if I'm being honest here. Um... I will be real with you, this team works really well against Esterosas. I'm actually going to drag the Arthur card for now, so I have it upgraded to 3-star next turn. So, Arthur's 2-star and 3-star disables recovery skills. And so, when you use his actual abilities, he's able to completely seal off any Blilia you end up facing, and he's able to seal off anyone that you're like having trouble with, if that's a main issue. Like, Blue Kings as well are like pretty easy to take down with him. So, that's not super great, but he didn't do the counter for this turn with Esterosa, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to pop this for now. I have the Arthur ready for next turn, but I think I'm going to do for now is just pop the Gouther card to waste it. Also, my headset just turned off. I've been having issues where my headset will turn off um, roughly every, like, 20 or so minutes, unfortunately. Okay, not too bad, though. I actually have a three-star Arthur for next turn if I wanted to. I think I might. They're not going to do any big debuffs against me aside from the attack decrease. Um, actually, I don't. I don't know. Does Esterosa's commandment apply if you have anti-debuff? Because I'm thinking about that now. I don't know if his commandment still goes through, but I think I'm going to do upgrade to Arthur. Do the three star, and then just one shot this Arthur, or uh, with this Arthur here. His ult should kill. I think it's two out of six for him though. No, it's one out of six actually, because it's the regular green. Let's see. He's fully buffed though. He should kill. Oh, it's the little, little, little bit. If I didn't have to upgrade, it would have been fine, but I think that turn I was required to. Uh, regardless, uh, I can see he has a three-star heal in his hand right now, and he can't do anything with it. Kind of feel bad, but at the same time, <laughs> Blilia is a problem for me. I run into the problem facing Blilia very, very often. Also, ow. Jeez. 
That's going to be an AoE alt steal, but it doesn't really matter that much. What I think I'm going to do... I'm fairly certain that if I use the Gouther card, it'll kill the Esterosa. I'm going to rely on you, Gouther. You need to get the kill in this swing. However, I'm going to do this. If I drag Eskinor's card, I get two charges, but I should probably just do the one star for now. More damage sounds better. Thank goodness. Thank you so much for that. She does have a heal, so if I don't kill her this turn, she would have. <laughs> Holy shit. Alrighty. Thank you for that, Eskinor. Yeah, that's about right. All right, we're going to pop into our next one here. Uh, this team, once it catches that momentum, it starts to really get rolling. It's a matter of once you get your first Arthur buff off, then it gets <laughs> better and better and better until it just destroys in one turn. So I like it. All right, next on up is going to be a team consisting of Red Derriere, Gouther, and is that Green Escanor? It is Green Escanor. Green Escanor doesn't like fighting this team. <laughs> Green Escanor typically gets one turned quite often. And honestly, Mono Red doesn't come around very often. So it's not like you end up expecting this team very often. Still kind of horrifying though. That's pretty good. I'll take that. So yeah, I drew into a two-star Amplify. Holy. That's actually kind of magical. So this turn, I should be able to just kill the Arthur outright. Because there's nothing they can... Or Gouther, sorry, not Arthur. There's nothing they can do to stop me from using all the cards that are going to be like 2-star and 3-star this turn. Unless he has the 3-star or 2-star Gouther, but that's not happening, yeah. So, uh, I'll do this. Get rid of this little bit. And Dairy Airy doesn't have her evasion just yet, because that's her main problem. Red Dairy Airy... When she does her self buff, she gains uh, a passive evasion for one turn. Doing damage early helps a lot with it. She also can't dodge ultimates, so if she has evasion on her, you can typically try and focus it with that. So hopefully next turn I'll have my ultimate ready. Eskinor's gonna hurt though. Granted, not many people maxed out Green Eskinor's ultimate. So let's see how much this does. Watch this, like, one-shot Gouther. Wow! Nice! 56k. 56k, rather. Not too bad. Gouther is a really big part of my team, so I respect that decision. You didn't use the evasion on Derriere, though, which means that she's dead this turn. I actually want to check this. Oh, it's just one out of... Yeah, no. It's one out of six, so how strange. Here, I'm going to do the buff on Escanor. Uppercut, uppercut. Because uh, if Derriere is going to be the one to use her ult this turn, don't let her do it. <laughs> there you go. And I have ult for next turn, so I should be able to one-shot that Blue Melly as well. Blue Melly uh, and Blue Lilia are the two that I have the biggest problem with this team because they're AoEs. They have heals. And also, like, this Melly hits hard. He chunks out a good amount of HP with every one of his cards that are upgraded. His one star is kind of bad, honestly, but it's about how it goes. I'm actually going to do my Gil Thunder buff, use this, and then just shock for now. I can't do a ton of damage, so I'll just wait till I have Arthur's uh, ultimate next turn. Bop. Holy, 113k is honestly so crazy. I'm glad I focused on him. Oh, I don't have Arthur's uh, ultimate. I needed to do uh, one more card with him. It's okay, though, because this turn is about to be one that is very painful for you. Because a three-star Amplify with having the Gil Thunder and all these buffs is going to hurt a lot. Let's see if this kills. It actually might. Yeah, okay. This team, you can tell the momentum helps it a lot. When it gets that first kill, that's the point when everything starts like spiraling faster. It's a matter of just catching that first moment, but let's go into the next one. Alrighty, we're loading into the next one, and our team we're fighting is going to be... Green Esterosa, Gouther, and Red Derriere. Okay, um, I can work around this for sure. 
They have Derriere's Commandment, so I'm not too concerned about things. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the Arthur buff on you. And I'm probably gonna end up just doing one big swing on our buddy old pal here by the name of uh, Gauther, because that sounds nice. It seems like you can play with the RNG inside this game, where you get roughly around the same hand every time. I don't know exactly how it works. Also, what is... Okay, no. Because my second draw right here ended up being the two-star Gauther. Which is interesting, actually. Um, I can work with that. But didn't expect it. I think they're actually focusing Gauther right now. I think what I'm going to do... No, 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 not that, not that, not that, not that. I'm going to drag the Gauther for now. Upgrade. And then I'm actually going to... Seal. I think they're going to focus on Gauther. So forcing them to try and attack Gauther while he has his ultimate as well is going to help with next turn. Just getting rid of as many attacking cards as possible does help with the situation for right now. So sealing is a good call. I I'm happy with that. I think what I'm going to do this turn, though. That's unfortunate. I think what I'm going to do this turn, though, for sure, is going to be... I think I'm going to lose Gauther soon. So I'm going to ult with him. I'm going to upgrade my Escanor cards I have in my hand right now. And then I'm going to actually just focus on uh, taking down the other Gauther for now with the Arthur card I have. Eskimo will have a three-star ult steal, so he'll be good for when Gauther's gone to actually take down any ultimates we end up dealing with. This will be good. And there you go, Gauther's done as well. So he can't seal my attacking cards anymore. Um, and I don't have another turn of it. Sweet. It's only a two-star. In that case, this is about to be a very harmful time. No matter who they focus right now, if they focus on Gauther, Coin Escanor has, like, three cards he can use this turn to do crazy damage. In fact, losing Gauther might be better for me, because I can use uh, Arthur if I draw into it. But that's not happening right now. So. Bye. <laughs> I'm not even going to target someone with the Amplify right now. I'm just going to do this. If it targets Esterosa, that's fine. Targets Darieri, that's fine as well. I also have an ult for next turn, so this... Oh, no, I don't. Eskinor's still one more off. Okay. Um, I don't know what they're going to do. Self-buff's important. Okay. No evasion, though. Interesting. All right, Esterosa. You're definitely a problem. I will acknowledge that. I think what I'm going to do, though... I'm going to do my Arthur buff at two-star... And then do my big Arthur swing to try and kill the Esterosa. I could have used my Escanor card to get his ult for next turn. I feel like this is a better call, though. Guaranteeing a kill is worth a lot more than getting ult for next turn. At least for right now. Every character they have less is less cards they can use as well. So, definitely helps out. And not too terribly bad. The defense food makes it so that even Gauther is so, like, tanky. Um, but with a full buff, I'm just going to go ahead and rock away with this. There you go. Other one bites the dust, and this should seal the ult steal? I don't know if it does. I don't know. It counts as a... D no. It doesn't count as a debuff. I see that. But she can only do the cube right now. Well, I will say that is definitely a GG game. Oh, that always feels good. One of those nice runs where you can kind of acknowledge what the issues are and kind of pick things up and know what you want to do. I'll take it. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the next game here. We're getting pretty close though. We've only lost one and it was our first one, so we're getting there. All right, next game we're going to go ahead and do is going to feature Esterosa, uh, Red Gauther, and Coin Escanor as a team. Interesting picks, for sure. Uh, typically with Coin Escanor, you want to run him with a lot of buffs. 
if you run Gouther, you typically want to try and go for the three-star upgrades, because the three-star upgrades are what's going to make you actually be able to get the extra bit of Amplify. That's fine. It's actually a per perfectly acceptable turn. Because this first hand I got is slightly different from the other ones I've gotten so far. Where I can do upgrade on Arthur, upgrade on Arthur, and then the three-star Arthur for the entire party. Helps a lot. On the first turn, it's honestly ridiculous. We should be good to go. God, all throughout this week as well. So, now that we're in quarantine properly, I've been trying to actually get through more shows that I've been lacking in. So, like, I caught up on Toilet Boy Hanako. I, I caught up on, like, uh, just different shows this season. I remember other ones that are coming out. But I've been watching a lot of Bleach as well. And watching through Bleach again has been an experience. I've been really enjoying it. Because, like, I forgot a lot of the small parts of Soul Society arc. I forgot the part where, like, Mayuri pulls a brain sickle out of the side of his head and throws it at the enemy. He throws it at Uryu, for example. There's all stuff like that that you end up forgetting through a series. Seven Deadly Sins? I feel like it has those weird moments in most of the time you watch it. Because, like... When I look at Seven Deadly Sins in the series, I feel like it's a lot weirder than a lot of other shonens. It goes for a lot more strange, like, pulls for the, the time travel, like the curses that everyone's going under and stuff like that. The commandments are really interesting. It's a lot different of an atmosphere compared to other things that I've watched, which I like a lot, actually. There's also a coin Escanor alt just sitting right there, so I'm going to upgrade Escanor for now. Do this, and then just uppercut for now. I don't know if this will kill Coin Escanor, but it'll do a sizable amount of damage. I can assure you that much. There you go. Not too bad, not too good. There you go. Next turn, I should be able to kill him without him actually doing his ultimate, so... Always nice. Oh, that was an email sound. I should probably close that. Sometimes I forget that's the case. I've been doing a lot of work stuff recently, so like I always have my email open, but then you hear the from Outlook and you're like, oh, whoopsie. Yeah, work's been really stressful recently, uh, but I've still been happy with what I've been able to do with it. It's still been like satisfying to do in the day to day, so I'm happy about that at least. I think I'm just going to do the Escanor alt steal for now. I could have... <laughs> I don't think this will kill. I should have done the Amplify. Amplify would have killed that turn. That was my bad. I absolutely should have done that. But work, work's been alright. I'm I'm trying to kind of sort around things and like... Planning things you have to do uh, for like a drop-in type of thing for mental health services. Uh, via online is very strange. It's been a heck of a time trying to get that sorted. I think I'm just going to ult this melee here. I'm going to amplify uppercut you and then just do it again. I think the first one will kill, so we'll see who ends up hitting. There you go. Melee's dead. Uppercut. This person had higher power than I did, didn't they? Just by like a, a thousand or so, but I'll take that. You had higher power than I did? Who decided that, Escanor says, as he begins to completely body through the entirety of this. I'm actually going to move... No, 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 no. Move this card. Get this buff, and then do the big uppercut. Uh, Amplify uppercut two-star should just one-shot on Nesterosa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that happens. Nesterosa is a tanky unit. But he's a unit that relies very heavily on lifesteal. And so when you end up... Also, I got to back out of this to go and get uh, some more PvP tickets. Um, but he relies so heavily on lifesteal that if you're running a team that's able to one-shot him or clap him in one turn with like an ultimate, for example, or you, you already have an ultimate, he pretty much just loses. A lot of the time, what you need to do is run a team with him where you have anti-ultimate, so like a coin Merlin, for example, or something that gives him the ability to survive. So like a, a defense buff or something like that, just to help him out. He's really good, but
but he has a lot more mechanics to work around to try and make him good. But I'm gonna buy uh, five more tickets here with my, with my friend points to go ahead and do five more PvP, and then we'll be good for today, I think. But we're gonna go ahead and hop back into our next match here, uh, and we will party with the next bit. Nothing excited about this. I need more defense food, but I'll figure that out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Alrighty, next match we have up is going to be facing a team of the new Red Melly, uh, Blue King, and Gelther. Interesting. I uh, haven't actually fought a team like this before. I haven't fought the Red Melly at all so far, I think. Here, I'm going to move this over. I'm going to do the buff on the Arthur and then do this. So we get the three-star Arthur for the first turn. We're all good to go. And it should be a great time. Oh, that's a spicy draw right there. So I just got the three-star version of my Arthur card, and then I drew into a three-star Amplify with no upgrades. I'm so sorry. I, I, I just wholeheartedly, I apologize for what's about to happen here. So there's also a mechanic with this new melee I need to mention here. Any time this new melee takes damage from a card, he ranks up the cards in his hand. So he works really well alongside this Gauther because he likes to have that little bit of work. But what we're going to be trying to do is avoiding AoEs unless it only steals ultimates. But that does a lot of damage. I wish it locked on the other guy. Holy shit, I should have just used um my Arthur card on the king. I didn't realize that would one shot. Holy mother of God. All right. Well, I have Eskinor alt here. So unless you can petrify, which three star Arthur doesn't let you do. You're kind of SOL. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, Gauther takes a little bit of damage here. Not too bad. And I'm just going to try and get rid of this melee. I think this melee is a little bit too smelly. So he's got to go. Don't rhyme with getting your getting my belly. That's not an okay thing to say. Hopefully it one shots. With the full type of buffs, I'm pretty sure it'll be alright though. It should do like 112k still. Still pretty good amount, honestly. And bop. There you go. Uh I did not just draw into another three-star Arthur. Wow. Well, if I keep the upgrade at least, I would need the upgrade to actually get him up to three-star. <gasps> you even stole my ultimate. No, you didn't. Damn it. Okay. Um, I'm going to do the Arthur. I'm going to hit this king with this, and then I'm going to do the three-star Arthur buff. Gauther still probably dies this turn, but the three-star Arthur is already up for three turns, so it's it's absolutely fine. Almost one shot. I would have needed the buff to actually one shot, but it's how it goes. Man, this team is very overwhelming if you don't have the right team for it. I think that it's one of those things. So, I've mentioned before in other videos on this game that the things I enjoy about a team the most is having options for taking down certain parts of of the enemy. So, like, I like the Valenti team because I, I have the defense debuff, I have the attack debuff, I have the ability to... Um, so, the team that I fully used in the last video to, to actually talk about it. Valenti, uh, Gil Thunder, uh, Green Lilia, and Green Eskinor, I believe. Uh, Coin Merlin? Coin Merlin might have been on there instead of, uh, Escanor. I don't quite remember. I think it might have been Merlin. But the reason why that team was so good is because Valenti has the attack and defense debuff. Uh, the Coin Merlin has the cube and also has the, uh, also I'm just going to amplify and uppercut. Um, has the attack debuff, has the defense debuff. Coin Merlin has the cube and she has the ult steal, which is super nice. Uh, Gil Thunder has the attack buff, and he also has the uh, defense increase for all of characters inside your actual party. That's why I have him here, for example. So, I like teams that have an option for every little piece you want to use. Lilia's ultimate steals ultimates as well, so you want to use that if you can. And that's what this team has as well. It's all mono-red, so it has a big problem with actually trying to fight, like, 
good teams that are blue. But it has the buff. It has the alt steal. It has the crazy damage. It has the synergy. It has the defense buff. Um, it has the attack buff in the back row as well. It has the coverage for blue when you do lose your first character. So every part of it stacks on top to make it better. And that's why I like this team a lot. So definitely think it's one of the better ones to invest in for like late game PvP. Uh, for right now though, I'm gonna grab some defense food and I'll be back for the next fight here in a second. Next party up is gonna go ahead and head in. It is an interesting one for sure. It's Blue Liz, Red Gauther, and Coin Escanor. So they're looking to harden in that case. Um, I think what I'm actually going to do... I'm going to do the Arthur, uh, Arthur buff here. And I'm going to drag over this Gauther card. I think that next turn I want to go ahead and seal. Um, but this Blue Elizabeth does have a buff that gives extra resistance to the characters on your squad. So it's not a bad pick for this, in all honesty. I just drew into another 3-star... Or... I had a two-star Arthur. I just drew into a three-star one right here. Do I want to replace it? Well, they're not going to debuff me. This team doesn't have debuffs, so I'm not looking to try and avoid that for right now. I'm going to save it until I have my buff going away still. Um, I think for the moment, what I'm going to go ahead and do is focus on taking this Gauther down faster than anything you've seen before in any part of the world. Bye. Ready? Get b b b bodied Holy. It did 73k. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well. This is unfortunate for you. <laughs> I I'm sorry about that. That Gauther was kind of your win condition here. Because right now... This hand of mine needs you to take care of these attacks. Because regardless, what we're going to do this turn is going to do a heck of a lot of damage. I'm going to go ahead and pop this to have my ultimate for next turn. I'm also going to go ahead and seal your Escanor cards. So you can't seal my ultimate for my next turn. Not in the mood for it. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. That sealed so many of his cards. It would only not seal his Red Derriere's buff and the buff from the Elizabeth. So they would have to use those if they were doing it. If it's a two-star Elizabeth, I think she might get rid of it. I don't super remember how hardening works. Yeah, hardening actually got rid of the debuff from uh, Gauther. Interesting. That's a cool like way to learn. I actually lose my ultimate here from my Escanor because he did that. Not a bad pick. Honestly, good play. Um, in that case, I still want to take down this Red Derriere. I feel like she's still a massive problem for me. Actually, I'm going to buff my Gauther card and use this to have an Amplify for next turn. Hopefully, I draw into another Arthur card here. And I also get to seal the cards here, so he has to harden again. Because right now, I'm finding answers to every one of his cards. He can't use his Coin Escanors because of Gauther. He has to use the Hardening to get rid of it, to get rid of the Ultimates to make sure I don't one-shot him. And because he had no Hardenings, that Red Derriere is most likely going to get clapped this turn. So, uh, peace out to her. I'm actually going to use a card between the Amplifies to make sure I have one for next turn. I'm focusing on the Red Derriere because the actual Coin Escanor won't have an Ultimate and she has Evasion. I fear evasion more because evasion between ultimates is a straight up free turn. And being able to set up on people with red derriere makes it very difficult to take her down. Just trying to work around that's kind of the way to go about it. I think this turn's going to be another one of these ones where you have to just seal cards. Um, oh no, we actually lost Gauther. Not a bad pick then. I think that, so I have no buffs whatsoever. I was hoping to draw into another one of those buffs. So I'm actually just going to do this, Amplify, and AoE. Bada bump. Bada bump. 
Probably could have split, split the damage a little bit more, so I would have been able to hit both of them with this card, but it's fine. There we go. Not too terribly bad. I'm quite, quite happy with that. I think we just win this. Straight up. I respect the people I don't, con con don't concede, though. For me personally, I usually end up conceding pretty early if I end up seeing that I'm not gonna do too well. Sometimes you get those teams you see and you end up getting bodied in like the first two turns and you're like, yeah, that's how that goes. I find Blue Lilia's teams to be the one that does that to me the most though. That's like the the big key. I still think one of the best OCs is Blue Lilia at this point. I haven't fought a lot of Monos or Easties though. I want to try and make a team with them next uh, week actually. I might, I want to try, try and do like a Eastie, uh, Esterosa, Gauther team and see how that works. But for now, let's go ahead and pop right into the next one. And next up down the runway is going to be a team featuring Red Derriere, uh, Esterosa, and Gauther. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a bit of a clap. Uh, let's go ahead and party. Um, Arthur buff. Go ahead and set that up on Escanor. I'm going to focus on the Gauther. I think I actually might just... I meant to move it. Meant to move it, but I double clicked. It happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. I'm salty. It's okay though, because I just drew into a three star amplify. Are you kidding me? What is with this RNG? I sincerely apologize. Oh, they're inside the Seven Deadly Sins Facebook group, actually. Interesting. Yeah, there's quite a few groups on Facebook for it, so it's cool that they have that as their, their guild. Um, <laughs> so he gave me a sticker. I kind of want to bow back before I do this. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry about this. Honestly, I super don't mean it, but like it's happening anyway and I can't stop it. So you have to have it happen. Uh, um, yeah, your Esterosa is gone now. <laughs> Holy shit. This team, man. Oh, it's one of the only teams that has this kind of damage potential, but it has a lot of deficiencies in different ways. Like it has a lot of issues with people that are bringing along like two blues, for example. It's very mono focused. Also, hmm, you're gonna petrify for sure. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. Yes. So I have two ultra next turn. And all of your attacking cards are now sealed, including your petrifies. I am going to get hit by whatever that three star is, though. Is it a Derriere buff? It wasn't a Gauther three star. Hmm. I'm unsure. However, uh, Gauther's dead. Actually, no. No, 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 no. Hold, hold, hold the phone. Now Gauther's dead. Because if I buff, I have two ults for next turn as well. And he has no way of actually trying to get rid of it. So he has to petrify. Forcing petrify makes them have to move cards. If they don't have it already in their hand. So that's kind of what I'm going for here. Um, but we're looking pretty all right. I think that might be a three-star heal. Yeah, that was a one-star heal he just used. That's a big smack. Holy. Well, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and pop the Arthur ults on her if she doesn't end up dying. And then use the Gauther to just kind of wrap things up. So she'll have no ult. She'll get hit twice. And she'll be sealed on all of her attacking cards. So she's getting clapped. There you go. Have you guys ever realized that like Arthur's hair in the way that it's shaped, it goes like forward and then out to the sides and then down in like a crescent moon shape in his like weird frontal ahoge. It reminds me a lot of um, one of the spears inside the game. It's kind of like Aang's arrow, if that makes sense, but it's like more rounded at the sides. But <laughs> he, he looks like one of King Spears inside this. I'm also going to just do this, this, and that. Sorry about that. 
I was too busy talking about his weird ahoge. Boop. There you go. I think that's a GG. Yeah, no. Nice petrify. But I think it's still a win for me. Because I can upgrade the card for Arthur. And honestly, Arthur hits pretty hard. Funnily enough, so I got my Arthur UR gear today for the first time. I've been waiting for uh, Escanor to get his engravings to actually be able to work on my UR gear. But I finally cracked and like did my first bracer. My Arthur now has higher attack than Escanor does when he's geared, which is so wild to me. Like, this this little kid is stronger than Escanor right now in terms of like attack inside my actual party. Wild, crazy, but it's still fun. We're gonna go ahead and go on our next one though. Let's party. And so the next party up to be taken down by this team is a Blue Melly Blilia Coin Escanor team. Our first Blilia Blue Melly of the entire uh, video, and I am terrified, frankly. However, I am going to go ahead and move this uh, Gauther over because I can seal both of Coin Escanor's cards if I go ahead and do it. So I'm going to plan around it. Ooh, that's a spicy card to draw. Okay, I actually think what I'm going to do here is drag uh, Gauther's card over, use it, and then try and do the alt steal. See? Hmm. 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 If I don't do it, I could actually wait. Um, so I'm going to focus on Blilia. I'm actually going to wait and combine them naturally so I can seal the recovery as well. Because that sounds really good to me. Taking down Blilia is the biggest priority right now, and sealing her recovery for at least this turn is perfect. Because once she's dead, she also has a cleanse on her. So when she goes away, I can use the Gouther and just take it all down. I'm feeling it. We're definitely in a pretty good place right now. We also got the combinations. So we end up getting the Gouther ultimate anyway. So he's about to clap a lot of people at the moment. And even with this melee. Oh, you have an ult steal. Is it two star? No. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, shit. Nice. So Lilia's uh, big AoE is a full team uh, ult steal only at two star. So typically you're trying to focus on working on that. I'm going to actually do this, do the ult steal, and then do this seal right here. Uh, we can confirm the kill on Lilia this turn, get the steal of ultimates as well, and I can seal all attacking cards aside from the poison for the melees. So not a lot you can do. And I have two ultimates. How about that? Yeah, no, you have a back row Esterosa as well. That was not the call for you. I think for back row right now, the best bet for this team is having someone that buffs defenses. So like, I would say Gil Thunder is a pretty good back pick. Having Esterosa is good, but he's not gonna do a lot of momentum off of the back row. And so if he has no momentum, pretty much just like loses. I think I'm actually going to just kill this melee for now. Um, and I'm also just going to go ahead and uppercut you. I have no upgrades on me, but I haven't drawn an Arthur card in a little while, so... I'm saving the upgrade in my hand for the moment. The attacking cards these characters are also sealed for right now. There you go. And big uppercut. There you go. Can I draw into an Arthur card? No, I can't. But I can draw into a two-star Amplify. Which, I mean, is close enough, at least. <laughs> Honestly. A, a three-star Amplify is going to do a sizable amount of damage, regardless. The question is, will a three-star Amplify one-shot the rest of the HP without buffs on this Esterosa? Let's find out. We have a 3-star Amplify and a 2-star Amplify. First one, didn't kill. We did get full countered. Second one, did end up killing though. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can see he actually did get a bunch of lifesteal off of that as well. Um, most Esterosas are going to require that lifesteal to stay alive in the turn-to-turn. -turn. So, 
he actually might have been able to out life steal me if he had like some sort of food on for that. Just depends on what the character or the, what the person's running. Back arrest Rosa though isn't going to use uh, a life steal food. Let's be real. I feel like most teams like this are usually running like defense food. That's what I run. And it's not too terribly bad. Alrighty. GG. God, I love the steak axe so much. It's so weird. Alright. Can I do one more for today? Yeah, okay. We have one more for today. Um, we're already up to the third seat inside this, so that's at least pretty nice for the moment. Um, definitely this week I want to try and get up at least one more class, so the next uh, week we can do a showcase on characters inside there. Uh, we'll kind of see how it ends up going for now. Um, next week, my idea for right now was to do a team of Mono, Esterosa, and Gouther with a back row of like, Gil Thunder, but I feel like I might want to have a healer for Esterosa. I don't know if I should try and do a team where I focus on mo mostly using him, because while we haven't run into another Coin Escanor team so far, if you do, he gets clapped. But would you guys want to see a video that focuses exclusively around Green Esterosa and making him the hard carry? Or would you guys want to see um, more so a split up team where I can focus on like also using Mono to get her ultimates off behind the full counters? And stuff like that. Because I can go for either full alt on Esterosa and try and skip turns and do well. Did I just draw into a two-star Amplify? I'm so sorry. I drew into the two-star Arthur and the two-star Amplify. You're about to take so much damage. I'm actually really, really sorry. There goes half your health bar in the first turn. <laughs> You're a blue Lilia. That shouldn't be how that works. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, I feel that, Ken. I, I definitely feel that. I, I apologize. <laughs> this team's ridiculous. We probably won't be playing this one again for a little while, at least, so... Let's still get the chance to show it off properly here. He's also using Green Escanor, which isn't the call. Um, I feel like I run at this at Green Escanor a lot with this team, and it just doesn't... I don't find it's a big threat for me, at least. I'm actually going to move this card over and seal all attacking cards for this turn. No recovery. No attacking cards. And we're good to go. That means that his hand is only the Escanor Suns and the uh, Demon Melee Poison cards. That's not very comfy. Yeah, you can see what cards you end up, like, sealing. So I can see I only sealed two cards, despite doing both the recovery and attacking cards. So you can tell what cards they have in their hand, and kind of what you need to work around. It's quite cool. I am actually just going to confirm the kill here, though. I find it safer. I'm probably going to lose one of my characters here. I don't think this blue melee could one-shot. I am like 90% sure this blue melee would have to use his uh, poison debuff and then would have to get a crit to actually one-shot my Coin Escanor. But that's his win condition. His win condition is using this to get the Coin Escanor gone. Please make this wrong decision. He poisoned. Okay. Used on Gouther? Why? Huge mistake. Huge mistake. Easily the biggest mistake I've seen all day. What are you doing, buddy? Literally, his win condition here was to get rid of Coin Escanor. Because now I'm about to run a truck on his entire goddamn life. Because this is going to suck for you. In that situation, absolutely the best calls take care of the one big threat. And you would have had to kill there. I was a little bit lower on HP anyway, so there's still like a pretty good chance it would have worked. I'm sorry, Ken. It's how it goes. So they had this person had three blues in Blilia, Blue King, and Blue Melly, and he had Coin Esc or uh, the Green Escanor, and we still ended up winning here. I'm not gonna say I win already, but it definitely feels like it so far. That Petrify is gonna suck a little bit. I will not lie. Um, but in the scenario that's the case that ends up happening. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Use the Arthur card and drag this over for now. If I draw into an Arthur card, that'd be great. 
However, I did get rid of his uh, recovery cards, if he had any, which he doesn't. Um, but it would be the case if he did. <laughs> Damn. Actually, I think this is the turn where you end up losing. Unfortunately, um, the full buff alongside the Escanor ultimate on the melee should be a clap of this phase. GG? Come on. Come on, one shot. I believe in you. That's why we're five out of six. You got this. Yeah. 80k. So not a good amount of damage, but I still end up killing. My um, coin Escanor's HP, I think, is around 100k or so. So I don't think I even could have survived that if I was uh, neutral against it. Here, I'm just going to go ahead and I guess get hit by your ultimate. It's going to suck a little bit. I swear to God, if I actually end up losing, I don't think it's possible, but watch this king be like six out of six. Never mind. That's a GG. Oh, good games today. We end up winning, I believe, nine out of the ten games. The only game that we lost was the first one, I think. So not a terribly bad run this time around. Uh, this team is definitely, I would want to say, one of the top tier. Actually, can I check here what my uh, win record was? Um, I think I, I played two yesterday, I think. Yeah, you can see this. So I... I'm fairly certain that we lost one today, and I also lost one yesterday, so that's the case. Also, I have 67k HP on Coin Escanor, so his ultimate would easily one-shot Coin Escanor, um, no problem. That that Demon Melee with the the blue uh, debuff on us with the poison, he one sh or he hit the ultimate on Gauther for 70k, which would have absolutely killed Escanor would have absolutely ended up doing um, a lot more work than what they did right there. I think he had that. I think he made one big misplay and lost him the entire game. Um, but I think he would have had that if he did the right one. So that's how it ends up going for now. For the moment, though, thanks for watching, everybody, for this episode of Seven Deadly Sins uh, Weekly PvP. Next week, we'll be back um, on Tuesday with a new team. Let me know what you're thinking of. I think I, I, it's between the Esterosa Focus team or the Easty Ultimate focus team with Esterosa as the person to keep alive. So we'll kind of see. For right now, thanks for watching. If you do want to hit that like button, I would appreciate it. If you made it this far into the video, actually, how about we have like a little code? If you made it this far in the video and you ended up watching all of this and enjoying it, type in the comments, uh, Escanor's Clap. How about that with a hashtag? And I, I'll appreciate that and I'll give you a, a big heart for it. For now, though, hit that like button, all that, do the YouTuber stuff. You know I'm bad at this. <laughs> you know I've always been bad. But I really do appreciate you guys watching this stuff. I I'm kind of trying to come back, so we'll work on it. For now, take it easy, and I'll see you guys on the next one.